parents' worst nightmare is watching their children starve and suffer. Mm. Yet in Gaza, living hell is being realised, exactly. with innocent children eating weeds and a thousand children having lost one or more legs, many of which have to have them amputated mm. without anaesthesia mm. or pain relief. Yep. I'm sure the Prime Minister will agree that this is inhumane. Yep. So will he please publicly call for unhindered access of food and medicine to reach Gaza and tell Israel to stop attacking healthcare facilities? Yes. Mr Speaker, as I've said previously, we're deeply concerned about the devastating impact of the fighting in Gaza on the civilian population, particularly, of course, children. Too many people have lost their lives already, and there is a desperate need for increased humanitarian support to Gaza. I've stressed those points repeatedly to Prime Minister Netanyahu, and we are doing our bit to get more aid in. As I said, we've trebled our aid commitment. We've earlier this month sent in the first maritime shipment of aid into Egypt, which will help, and we're working with the United Nations to deliver a new humanitarian land corridor from Jordan into Gaza, because I agree with her. We want to see more aid into Gaza, helping the most vulnerable people, and we should be proud in this House that the United Kingdom is playing a leading role in making that happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That